Hi, everybody. I was just studying the next quilt that I was going to work on and, you know, figuring out a way to put it off, but you're here. So let me make sure there's nothing in my teeth and let's get started. Hi, everybody. It is April and I am in my craft room. And today we're going to make a three yard quilt featuring a free pattern called Courage from the fabriccafe.com shop. And I'm going to make mine with a Halloween fat quarter bundle. Just before the weekend, there was a video and it was Fabric Cafe and Donna Robertson and I believe her son announcing that they had a free pattern called Courage. This pattern is on their website under the free heading for about two months. So even if you're not going to start working on this pattern now, I will put a link below. Go ahead and go get the free pattern and either save it or print it out. Normally, I would take three individual yards of fabric, but when we went on our little quilt shop hop a month or two ago, I lose track of time, we went to Continental Sewing Center in Lexington, and I will put a link to them below. They were a small shop, but they had some really cool fabric. They also had vinyl and machines and some notions. But I had seen this Riley Blake Celebrate with Hershey fat quarter bundle in my perusing the internet. And I considered buying it and I thought, nah, nah, you know, I won't. Well, guess what? They had it. And it's like, well, I have to support my local quilt shop, right? So it was a no brainer and it was on sale, which makes it even better. So I decided since it will be Halloween soon, that I would use this fat quarter bundle to make the courage pattern. When you make a three yard quilt using a fabric cafe pattern, it's pretty standard that fabric one should be your feature fabric. And my fabric one is going to be the orange grouping of fabrics in my bundle. So that is my feature fabric. Hopefully you can see it and I think you can. Fabric number two should be your lightest fabric. And my lightest fabric is white. So this will be fabric number two. And I'm going to put them in order over here because sometimes I forget. Fabric three is your darkest fabric. And this is my black fabric. I feel like I'm holding up cards. I think you can see it. So now that I have chosen my three fabrics, only it's really more. Now we get down to the actual cutting of the fabric. Now, because this pattern is only free for two months, I don't feel comfortable giving out the measurements, but the link to this pattern is in my description. So if it's within two months of this pattern coming out, you will be able to get the measurements. Otherwise, you're going to have to purchase the pattern. So I'm going to cut two strips out of this piece of fabric. That will equal one strip that is by width of fabric because this is 21 inches this way. 
So when I cut two, I'll have 42 inches of that strip. I'm going to cut my fabric and come back and I will show you how I am going to assemble my strips. Aw, there's Oliver, just in time to help. This is strip assembly A. So I have fabric one with a strip of fabric two attached. And I have four of those because keep in mind, I have fat quarters that I'm working with. You would normally just have two. And Oliver is so helpful. All right, then I have strip assembly C. And A and C don't even work together. For some reason, A is underneath C. So I'll just go with it. So this is fabric three, and this is fabric two. And it's very similar to strip assembly A, which maybe that's why it's underneath it. I also have four of those. Then I have strip assembly B. Strip assembly B is fabric one with fabric two on both sides. And I only have two of these, which means if you're using full yardage, you'll only need one of these. And then I have strip assembly D. And D is a whole lot like B. So this is fabric three with fabric two on either side. Now these need to be cut up and used to create the blocks. So I need to take all of these strips and cut as many sub cuts as I can get. And Oliver is not going to be very helpful. We are good. I have all of my strips cut, all of my assemblies. So I have my D and this is A. And then I have C and here I have B. So I've put them in order, A, B, C, D. Now it turns out that I need C and B together so here's B and C. I'm going to set those up there. And then I need A and D. Let's take these to the design wall and build our blocks. So here I have block A and here I have block B. This is unit C, unit B, and then unit C with fabric two pointing down. So I'm going to make a stack of C's, a stack of B's and a stack of C's and set them next to my sewing machine and put them together to sew block A. And then I'm going to do the same thing for block B and I have unit A with fabric two up, unit D and then unit A with fabric two down. I think that'll be the easiest way to put them all together. I have completed sewing block A and block B, and what I did was I chain pieced my first two strips together, and I'll show you how I did that. And then once I had all of these strips sewn together, then I brought that chain back around and added the third piece. 
Then, as I was pressing my blocks, that's when I would cut them apart. So it seems more efficient, is it? I don't know, but it worked for me. So block A, block B. According to the instructions, I need six rows of four blocks, and I should alternate A, B, A, B for each row. So let's see how that goes. Let me put this together and I'll be right back. I have sewn my four rows of six blocks together and I had almost forgotten I have borders. In fabric number two, we cut strips for border number one. So I'm going to add border number one and then I have a surprise for border number two. All right, I have added border number one. Now for border number two, they had me cut out fabric two. I don't want fabric two for border number two, so I'm going my own way. What I will do with fabric two is I will probably use it for my binding, so it'll be a scrappy binding. I had multiple fat quarters in fabric three. So I have this left over from my cutting of fabric three, and I have three fat quarters left from fabric three. Can you see where I'm going here? So I'll do four and a half inch strips out of my leftover fat quarters and leftover leftover fat quarters and put that border around and it's gonna be scrappy and I'll be back. My quilt top is complete. I love the way it turned out. I like the scrappiness. When I look in the camera, I can see the pattern that I see on the front page of the Courage pattern. Why I couldn't think of that word. I don't know. I could not hang that up there straight if my life depended on it. Have a great day, eat some chocolate, and be kind to everyone. Until next time, bye. One more thing. I have two places in this quilt that I had to improvise. Can you see where they are? In honor of my Hershey's quilt, today's chocolate of choice is a Reese's peanut butter cup. One bite. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And today we're going to make a three yard quilt featuring a free pattern from Thum Thum. Now when you make a three yard quilt using the fabric no, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. When you make a three yard quilt using the cabot, I, I have no idea where that came from. A fabric two. <laughs> this is strip assembly A. So I have my fabric two. <laughs> nope. Really? Are you helping? Are you Vanna? So let's go to this. <laughs>